This is a production of the Hardway HQ Podcasting Network. Welcome, everyone, to another edition of Unfiltered here, HardwayHQ.com, via the Hardway HQ Podcasting Network. You can find this podcast through iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Amazon Music, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and the vast majority of podcasting applications. Just search for Hardway HQ and up should come the entire Hardway HQ podcasting catalog, as well as the aforementioned HardwayHQ.com. We're on Facebook and Twitter, Hardway HQ, Instagram, the Hardway HQs, if there's any other one. We're on YouTube, also under Hardway HQ. Please search us out. Please subscribe. Please like our videos. Uh, please help us out trying to build this thing one day at a time. And lastly, advertising concerns hate mail, john at HardwayHQ.com. That's J O N. At, don't actually write at, use the A with the circles around it. Cool gimmick, cool shtick, cool deal, baby. John at HardwayHQ.com. I'm John Harder here in the beautiful, luxurious Hardway HQ Studios. And I uh, bring you another edition of Unfiltered, my one take, one time uncut rant. Um, a, for l- lack of wanting to edit. And B, because it forces me to be quick on the draw, quick with my words. And, uh, and, and honestly this week it's been it's been a little tough around you know these parts with south river um especially with the passing of um capitol police officer uh brian sicknick uh i didn't know him but a lot of people around south river did his family's well known within the town uh we lost a good man trying to protect his country and it's no matter what way you look at it no matter what side you take on the whole thing uh the fact is we lost an officer we lost a hometown resident and I kind of really wanted to touch upon this week with uh, with everything and discuss uh, community. You know, last week I made a uh, brief mention during my unfiltered video about the South River community and how I felt like I was never part of it. It's kind of a flippant comment. When I was doing the edit work on this video, I, I went back and I watched that part and I kind of felt like I sounded like a jerk uh, when I said that because the fact is the community is there if you want it and if you need it and uh seeing how many people in town do that uh you know you're from south river facebook group come together in multiple ways this week is just incredible and and deep down as much as people like to argue back and forth about what side of the the spectrum they're on when it comes to uh our country and our politics and whatnot uh everybody genuinely cares about this town and this community and you know, when I posted the uh, the Echo South River Urban Legend video last week, I didn't expect really anybody would, would care from the South River group. And indeed they did. And I got some positive feedback uh, from within the town. Uh, actually, um, Officer uh, Kevin Nielsen, um, nothing but great words in that uh, comment, talking about a little more an updated version to the Echo South River Urban Legend. And uh, we will get into that soon. But I wanted to thank uh, Officer Nielsen for his hard work and his help. And um, again, sense of community. People chimed in with their feedback and, and stuff like that too. And realizing that the Echo Building was actually an old sewing company from back in the 50s and 60s, which I'm going to do research on. And it kind of actually inspired me wanting to do more South River based uh, unfiltered episodes, especially on video. But just the community. I mean, the views we got in that video alone is probably the most views I've seen ever. Uh, maybe the exception of a Project Diverge video that we did. Um, I haven't seen that many views on a Hardway HQ video in quite some time. So uh, thank you, Township, for coming out. And I kind of feel like this this one's going to be a little bit for you when I talk about that uh, the South River community. And again, everybody just wants to see each other uh, grow and do better within this town. That's just how it is. And they want to see this town thrive and survive. And... Um, if you look at everything this week with Officer Sicknick and, you know, the the outpouring on social media and within town about what happened to him, I mean, now we're going to fly our flags at half mass because of uh, um, this, this this tragedy. I mean, it's it goes to show, it just goes to show um, the compassion that people have in this town and the way people just want to lift each other up and help out. It might not always seem that way. There's always... Um, I've always felt like there's always been a little bit of drama, Loki, always within this town. But I think every town's like that. And, uh, and, and when you talk about, like, a tragedy like this, nothing will ever, ever to me beat 
uh, the outpouring of love and support after September 11th, uh, 2001. And again, another man I did not know, uh, Chris Dinkuff. Uh, I'll never forget this. This is like one of these moments that um, I don't know if it, people remember it to this day. But after the, the attacks um, in New York and um, Mr. Dinkuff passed away in those in, uh, and perished in that. And it's, it's just awful. Uh, the town, you know, really rebounded around him. He was beloved, and they, they supported him and his family every which way possible. And one of the coolest things I ever saw, and I, I remember this about the community. Uh, I, when I, was, I think I was, I was a junior in high school, and, uh, and I, was driving, I was driving with my ex-girlfriend. She was driving me to school. And, and as I, as we get past Denny Stadium, I see a handmade, hand-drawn banner with Dincuff and I believe 58, if I, if I remember the number. I think that should have been it, could have been it. Um, but seeing, and it was hanging right next to the, 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 the Thiesman, because it's not Thiesman, it's Thiesman. Thiesman reminds what Heinzman. I don't know. I mumbled saying that, but Theismann arrives with Heisman, and it's Theismann, uh, Drew Pearson, and and uh, Kenny Jackson, all that stuff on on the on the Denny Stadium banners, and I I always found that to be incredible, and I always thought that was very 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 touching to see that that that's how much of an importance this guy had on on the town and whatnot, and I just everybody come out and, and support, and it's just that's the community we live in and seeing everybody do the same thing for officer Sicknick, uh, absolutely awe inspiring. And, you know, in personal experiences, I do have a, uh, positive experience when it comes to the community within this town. I do. And, um, it really relates to TV 35 for me. Uh, and then the, then the greatness of, you know, people in the community, Art Lendensky, and that's a man who I don't think, is, in my opinion, has ever got the, the props and credit he's deserved uh, for his hard work with TV35 over the years. Um, uh, I'm blessed to have worked beside him for a very short time when I was in my late teens, early 20s. I uh, really shaped really shaped where we are today, doing podcasting and video and stuff for Hardway HQ, and uh, my my side hustle career in many senses of the word. Uh, and I, I really want to talk about that, talk about the community of, of South Irvine, how they all come together and help each other out. Uh, I was 17 years old and I'm going to, you know, Southern high school, my senior year of high school. And I'm, I'm probably the, the whole gaggle of kids that go to that school and trying to figure out what the hell we are and trying to fit in and trying to, to, to understand what our, destinies were and are and for some cases still are and I was doing uh, the TV 36 and TV 36 was the school uh, television channel and it was run at that time by Miss Miazio and uh, the incredible work I think she had she was in a process of slowly transitioning her way to um, working in, as the principal of the high school within the next decade or so but she was she was working her way grinding through but she was teaching that intro to telejournalism course and her help on on me was second to none i mean she really um she really did a lot to encourage uh her, her students to go and to, to work on projects you know off hours at school and really try to find their way and uh i remember it was a student basketball game i'm gonna say it was against the harlem wizards i don't remember i don't remember the exact game but she wanted someone from TV 36 to do the commentary with uh, uh, Art Lendensky at uh, TV 35. And and I, I remember meeting up with Art, nervous as all hell and, you know, full of lack of confidence uh, in, in himself. And I think all kids in high school have that. And I, I remember sitting down with Art, uh, first time meeting him, and, and he encouraged me, like, look, just take your time, have some fun. And make the most of the opportunity. Just have fun. You know, you never know what can come from it. And <clears throat> sat down and just proceeded to have a blast and pretend I was being Mike Breen and, and Marv Albert and and trying to be like the, the voice of basketball. And granted, I probably would listen back years later, years, years later, and uh, 
thing was probably abysmal, but the potential was there. The passion obviously was there. Uh, I was a giant nerd. I loved my my sports, and um, and I was blessed by that. I was blessed by that opportunity. So uh, I'm gonna say it was the next year. I did a couple games here or there with uh, Art uh, for TV35, and then for me. It was a huge opportunity, my first ever paying gig. <laughs> I was 19 years old, and I'm going up in 2004, and I'm doing the high school, uh, doing a football stadium announcing for Denny Stadium for 2004 for the South River Ram football team, you know, and um, it was a paying gig. It was $25 a game, which to me at that time was like, you get paid for doing this? And... It was it was incredibly nerve wracking for me because when you're in the public sphere, uh, especially just doing something simple as a football game, like if you say one off thing or you say one wrong thing, you're 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 screwed in your mind. You think your world's gonna end, everybody around town's gonna laugh, and uh, <laughs> and I remember my first day walking in there and you just see established, you know, South River. I don't want to say dignitaries, but but established people within the community who are very well respected, and. Um, and the nerves were there completely. I mean, you look look at the, the again the dignities in that booth. I mean, you got Charlie Mangelli doing scoreboard. You got uh, Art Landensky going around doing the, the production, getting things set up. And you have the living legend of South River commentary, the voice of this town, Fred Roselli doing commentary. And I'm looking around here. I go, my God, I am out of my element and I'm and in many senses I, if I wasn't freaking out before and I'm just 19 doing just simple football and not having a lot of confidence going and looking and seeing you know these guys in there and I'm like oh man I can't screw up I gotta go and I gotta give my absolute best and I don't know if it was my absolute best but I can tell you I, I definitely think I did well I definitely think I did well and uh, it was a lot of fun and if it wasn't for that experience and for the um, consistent motivation of Art Landensky, um, you know, saying that you got potential, keep grinding, keep moving forward, keep doing what you got to do. I don't think I'd be doing Hardway HQ where I would have gone into pro wrestling and done um, independent wrestling commentary. I don't think I would have gone and and uh, done any of that stuff, you know, manage and run my own show and, and start podcasting. And I, would, I don't think I would have done any of that stuff if it wasn't for the community. It wasn't for Art Landensky, a member of this South River community who, who obviously ate, breathed, and breathed. <laughs> he was brave, uh, breathed and slept this town. And I, I give him a wealth of credit. I haven't talked to him in a long time, but uh, I wanted to always thank him for giving me that opportunity and obviously Miss Miazio um, I believe she's still teaching I would love to give her uh, thanks for even thanking me and putting me in that spot and I want to thank everybody around me who you know didn't make fun of a 19 year old kid in the uh, in the high school in the high school football you know the the, the staff um, who didn't make fun of uh, things I would make mistakes on and on a complete side note, I know for a fact my little "Here Come the Rams" uh, 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 slogan that I would say every time the Rams would take the field for uh, a kickoff. Um, that was made into a T-shirt. I never got one. So, <laughs> holding on to petty gripes, 15 years later, how mature, John? But and as as I talk to myself, but but. You know, it's just it's these experiences, and and you realize that that flippant little thing I said last week about oh the community of South River, mm, it's there if you want it, and um, and not just me, but my family's been afforded a lot of opportunities through the community as well, and opportunities to do things, and uh, is there if you want it, and um, I really look back now and uh, appreciate it. And I wanted to let all of you know in South River that uh, I respect the community coming out and supporting me on on this one video. I know there's another uh, young lady who I forgot the name off the top of my head who just wrote a, a book based around something in South River and she's getting a wealth of support. And if I think South River just wants to see people succeed and not do the status quo. And 
and uh, I, I really appreciate that. And I, I would love for you guys, if you guys want to hear more South River experiences and stories, please let me know. I, I do would love feedback on this, either on the comments or um, uh, John at HardwayHQ.com. I, I would love to, to hear feedback, and, um, and I really appreciate it. So this has been unfiltered. I know I, I tend to ramble sometimes, but that's the whole take of this thing. I kind of wanted to bring it together and um, just say um, rest in power, Officer Sicknick. Uh, thanks for your duty for your country and um, the South River. Uh, it's a sad day. It's just sad, and I want to talk about the community. And um, it's bigger than people think or realize. So uh, I tip my cap. This is Unfiltered. I'm John Harder. HardwayHQ. Dot.